So the final question is, are you ready for a hurricane or are you ready for a disaster type situation? We just finished a video series on uh, hurricane preparedness and you can also roll that into disaster preparedness because a lot of things go hand in hand. Now in this series we did cover a lot of different types of topics and I tried to go in detail as much as possible to explain it to you and show you some inexpensive ways and ways around different things. We covered stuff from uh, dealing with bugs and everything like that because after a hurricane you know of course you may be outside have to open windows that type of stuff. We covered things on uh, your the best type of flashlights having uh, extra batteries uh, how to store your batteries and those type of things. We also covered communication um, you know all the different types of communication the ways you can com communicate uh, fast type toolkits this way here everything is organized and ready to go in case you need to do an on-the-fly fix during the hurricane we also just uh, talked about um, non power tools such as your axes and saws and all this type of stuff and these are all in these videos that I have done um, we also covered like extra things that you're going to want to have on hand, such as maybe like some tarps and uh, rain gear and stuff like this. Um, I tried to break it down so that everybody can understand and get a good idea of what to do and then you guys can take that information and then apply it to your situation. We also talked about having um, how to make uh, ice blocks and coolers and all that type of stuff we did talk on going out and checking your yard right now which is a good time to do it before the season gets here you know cut out any of the dead debris and things of that nature um, the different types of power sources that you may have to have or you're going to want to have in a disaster type situation from solar uh, battery banks um, extra batteries, generators, um, I went into details on those things. Um, we also talked about uh, navigation and your evacuation routes, which you know is a very important topic. Uh, you really need to really pay attention to that. That's a good one to watch. We talked about your emergency backpack, like this one right here, what you need to have in it. We also talked about um, having notepads or a journal or something to make sure that you have a hurricane plan in place and that you know different types of people know about it and that is all in that video uh, we talked about the best canned vegetables the best canned meats um, <clears throat> special food for your kids uh, that one there is, is uh, you just don't want to you know forget about your kids when you're doing your hurricane prepping I just wanted to bring people aware that do have kids and stuff you know you want to make sure you have stuff for your kids that they're gonna like and gonna eat that's why I threw that one in there um, this way here you know everybody in the family is kind of covered uh, we also talked about um, ways around the limitations and uh, everything that's going on right now with the pandemic and uh, how you're you're limited to quantities that you can buy with the upcoming hurricane season and the way the storms and stuff have been already with the tornadoes and those types of disasters uh, it's just uh, something that you know you may want to watch I give you a few good ideas of how to get around some of the, the limitations um, we talked about some of the best dry goods and everything that you may want to have on hand in your house. You may already have a lot of those different types of things. We talked about first aid kits, what type of a first aid kit you want to have and what you want to have it in, in it. And water, which is one of the most important things that you need. And then securing uh, your doors and windows like right now is a great time to be measuring up your windows and securing those 
uh, not at this point but to have everything that's cut and ready to go into place this way here if a storm does come your way on a hurricane standard and you need to board up your windows if you don't have hurricane shutters you can do that and do it very quickly so I just wanted to just recap this series that I have done and I've tried to make it so that it is very full of a lot of information and help out a lot of people in these types of um, instance where you know it's either a hurricane a lot of this could be put into a natural disaster type scenario but I just want to thank everybody for watching this series if you haven't seen the series go back and start from number one there's 20 of them I uh, tried to break it down to keep them kind of short. There are a few that are like 10 minutes long, but then there are quite a few that are like, you know, between five and seven minutes. So just go back, check out some of those videos, and hopefully this will help out somebody out there, which is my goal, to be prepared for the unexpected. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.